Siemanko kochani, siemanko mordeczki Witam w następnej części Life is Strange Teraz sobie zagramy czwarty epizod Bez bezbędnego gadania Zapraszam do oglądania Piąteczka No zobaczymy co się będzie działo teraz tutaj kurde Previously on Life is Strange Wow yeah. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't you ever touch yeah, me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. Let's talk about you. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room, over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxi? Ah, dobra, this is totally fucked tutaj. up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Tutaj się ładnie porobiło. Chloe, kurde. you have a visitor. Byłem zaskoczony, kurde. Life is strange is a story based on game that future player choice. The consequence of all your in game action and decision. Blah 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 blah. Dobra, pokażcie co się z tą stało. Jak to się w ogóle stanęło? Że ona na busku wylądowała. Ten wieloryb ją przygniót? Co na plaży był? Może ta cofała się ona w czasie i wieloryb z nieba spadł i jebnął jej na nogi. Square. 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 No nie, dobra, dobra. Sorry, że musieliście te czekać na ten następny epizod, ale jakoś nie miałem weny to odpalić. Life is Strange, epizod 4, Dark Room. Epizod 4, Ciemny Pokój. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Zauważycie, wszystko się kręci wokół tej Rachel, kurde. Ta Rachel coś musi coś... Coś ona musi mieć z tym związanego wszystko, kurde. Z jej też tą przemianą, że ona, kurde, czasem... Czasem panuje czas. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Przerąbane, kurde. No ale te wszystkie kurde i cofanki w czasie ładnie tutaj beształem wieloryby na plaży. Ona chyba musi umrzeć coś czuję, że ona zginie. No taka smutna ta gra kurde to jest. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Dora, bisha kunchfotaj, co fajcie, dziewczyno. I can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card. I wonder who this is. I wasn't very available. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying oh, go, the Go, go, Power Rangers! Oh we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. Yeah, but you're a loser. I am yeah, trying yeah. to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Blade Runner. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Oh, not yet. sweet. No ale naprawdę na... musi być drogi w to wszystko, kurde, leki, kurde, wózki, technologia, kurde. Oj, kurczę, na 
naprawdę masakra. One second, I'll tell you shit sniper. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. I'm glad you think so. Ah, here's the DVD. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. <laughs> yes. That's a serious heat lamp. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Kurde, dobra, what a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Kurde, że to wszystko takie koszta ma. Masakra. A wyjdę z tego pokoju, czy nie? A gdzie ma shitty bug? You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have. Co, po filmie już? Co zostały we dwie pewnie, kurde. Wake up! You fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. To to będzie jakiś smutny epizod, gdzie płakać wszyscy. I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. No, dobra, idziemy zwinąć, kurde. Snow globes are taking over. O oh yes, snow globe. Ale idziemy zakościć, kurde, morfinę. Pogadam ze starym. Siema ojciec. Rachunki. Hey William. Um, am I bothering you? Why yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. 
Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. 12 000 dollars, 12, oh, cool. 15 days on the spot, oh, cool. Grubo. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Przerąbane. Dobra, idziemy do góry. Czyli stary pokój, ta? A, pusty w kit. I never heard much about William's brother. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Yes. Toys? Toys? 
I kind of want to open this and see what's in. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. So. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. The bathroom looks almost the same. This. This one. Here it is. Oh, yeah. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Zaraz trzeba zarąbać strzała. Sprawdźmy to. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Kurde, ja się wbiłem do pokoju do niej. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Oh yeah, yeah, William still the same. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse, but always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Thank you, Amush. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Kurde, nieźle. Dobra, idziemy dać jej strzała. Trochę morfinki na pobudzenie. Niestety, kurde. Cholerne rachunki, wszyscy muszą mnie płacić. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. 
Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Dobra, ludzie. Tutaj zakończymy ten odcinek. Zdjęcia sobie poglądałem w następnej części. Do zobaczenia.